Well, you're going to have to guard your grill. The EPA wants to regulate your backyard barbecue, putting taxpayer dollars on the front burner to do it. Missouri State Senator Eric Schmidt is here. He's leading a revolt against the cookout crackdown. Senator, welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. So what possible... Thanks for having me. I'm glad you're here. What possible objection could the EPA have to barbecues? Well, there couldn't be anything more American than the backyard barbecue. And evidently, the EPA is now spending taxpayer money to study this car the carbon emissions from backyard barbecues, presumably carbon with emissions. an attempt to regulate down the road. Carbon, carbon so emissions here's from what backyard they say. barbecues. They say we expect to limit the overall air pollution particulate matter emissions from barbecuing to alleviate some of the acute health hazards that a barbecue pit master can experience from inhalation. Really? Isn't that my choice if I want to barbecue? I, 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 this mystifies well, me, Senator. Well, it's, uh, it's emblematic, quite frankly, of an agency that's out of control. I mean, this is wasteful spending. We are $18 trillion in debt in this country. And the idea that we'd be spending money on a study like this, potentially regulating backyard barbecues, is ridiculous. So we launched a, uh, a social media campaign, hashtag Pork Steak Rebellion, to show our, our frustration with this effort. And we're also challenging folks all across the country to get out and grill this weekend. All right, are you leading the charge here? How many people are supporting you? We are. It's, it's really interesting. We've had a lot of support in Missouri where uh, we take our barbecue pretty seriously. And uh, <laughs> it's taken off across the country. And actually got a, a, a Twitter message from somebody from Australia talking about uh, back off our Barbie. So it's taken off. Uh, but really, I think it does, all, all humor aside, it does touch on a very serious issue of right. over and wasteful spending. And the EPA finding new and innovative ways to find their way into our daily lives. We do not need them in our backyards and our Fourth of July barbecue. It really is ridiculous, and we just need to call it out when we see it. Well, it's beyond intrusive. I, I couldn't agree with you more, and that's why we're doing the segment today. There's another rule, though, that they want to put in place. They're worried about how much water we're using when we take a shower. Listen to this. This is an EPA statement. EPA is not monitoring how much time hotel guests spend in the shower. Students are conducting research to develop a novel, low-cost wireless device for monitoring water use from hotel guest rooms. Are you kidding me? So now the government's in the shower with me? That is beyond intrusive. It's kind of gross. Well, the idea that we're regulating uh, water usage, or, or more importantly, the, the idea that we're spending taxpayer money when we have this massive and crushing uh, national debt, I think has is, 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 is raised the alarm bells here, and people are frustrated. People are fed up with this kind of wasteful spending, and, it, and, an e and the EPA, which, again, is finding ways into our daily lives that most Americans find very objectionable. Well, you know, we've got $18 trillion worth of debt that every man, woman, and child in this country is eventually going to have to pay off. What's more, the president is asking for more money. He wants a bigger budget. They want to raise the debt ceiling. If you were working in Washington, I know you're a state senator, how would you respond to that? Well, you've got to rein in these federal agencies. They are, regu or they, are, they are promulgating and issuing rules at breakneck speed. They're not accountable. They are not accountable to the citizens. They're not up for elections. So you have a rogue agency like the EPA in this example here. F again, funding a study that could potentially regulate backyard barbecues, water usage in hotel rooms. I think it's gotten out of control, and we need to stand up to it. And they, we should not be spending money on these kinds of projects. And I think that's why what we've been talking about in Missouri this week and now talking about nationally has really struck a chord with people. They're frustrated. They think uh, right. the federal government's out of control. It's spending way too much money, and that's why this is relevant. It's relevant, and it's on point. Eric, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me.